What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, we are playing a brand new DLC called Blood Ties. Now, this one was essentially released in unison with the 20th anniversary Rise of the Tomb Raider edition, which has been re-released for PS4, PC, and I believe they released this version on Xbox One as well, but mainly the big ones are PC and PS4. One of the major things about this is they wanted to push the PS4 version because this DLC had a, well, let's just say it, slightly tacked on VR experience. Um, so we can enjoy this Croft Manor segment, which is roughly an hour, maybe a little bit less, uh, where we go around looking at find, you know, finding out essentially the air and what I, like, I don't know exactly, I don't want to speak on my ass too much, but I do know that we'll be searching around uh, Croft Manor a bit, which is why this is here. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and jump in. We are playing on PC this time, though. I figure it'd be the best experience possible, uh, even though our the original Let's Play we did was on Xbox One, because that's all that it was available at, or on at the time. Either way, though, hope you guys are ready to sit with me and enjoy this DLC. Hopefully, it's a good one. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you do enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. So without further ado, let's start Blood Ties. New story, Blood Ties. Definitely. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared, and given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. That guy sound Whoa, what's- whoa. Calm down. Stop it. We're good. That was weird. What a prick, man. Why would he not leave her with any it's intel? A it's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. What about this picture? There could be something My in the picture. Birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. The treasure of ancients. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Can we open it? I thought maybe it'd be like, but why is what's the frame rate? What's going on? This thing was just working mintly two seconds ago. Now all of a sudden it's not. It's all choppy. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia. And apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. Ha. <laughs> my parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Now, what about this? Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford. But I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep. Looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. That's kind of funny. Oh, what's this? Film reels, but I can't actually do anything with them.
Everything's all shining bright like a diamond. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. Well, you gotta let her do what she, what's best. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. Oh well, yeah, I would be glad too, because you wouldn't have been more than their child. One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. That's nice. Uh, how about this over yonder? It's a bust of something. What's it? A okay, Laura, right behind you. Thank you. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Oh, that's kind of neat. Now the picture over here. One of these things has a to have the clue. With Dad and Anna. Sorry. Hidden information. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. Is that it? Oh, I thought there'd be something else. Okay, we got the safe already. So there's this, this thing over here. This map of Syria. Okay, come on. Come on! Thank you. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the prophet's tomb. Too bad. There's a couple of these. Nothing in there. Because we're trying Let's to find talk anything, about right? Immortality myths might be useful in my research. This one doesn't have a hidden hidden thing. We're gonna have to thoroughly search the manor. Just gonna do one last check to this room just to make sure. I'll go around back again. Give the globe a spin. Nope. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next section. Go to the library. This thing we could probably grab. I think there's an achievement. This is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Let me guess. This is locked. It's your own house. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. Wait. I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. What's this? Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. So this is essentially like a scavenger hunt, isn't it? Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. And like I said, there's an achievement for getting every in immortality thing. Myths after his expeditions to Egypt. Every interactive thing. Ah. Oh, sorry. Something on the chair here. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, 
But will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? Hmm. She died when she was very young, obviously. How about the PC? Can we do anything? Oh, we can go see this knight in shining is. Oh, wait. Hold up. What's this? Another letter. There we go. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claims suggest. I know you're up to something, and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. Atlas was such a butthole, wasn't he, guys? <laughs> Well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, it won't be boring your sword this time. All right, anything over here? It seems very linear, doesn't it? Never mind. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. I'm. Just, I just want to be careful. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay on the top level no, for now. You know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I just wanted to see... We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. That's all locked up. Locked. Need a key to open this. Here's a chest. <clears throat> That's also locked. Hmm, this belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Huh. All right, we can go down, but we got to get that master key. How about this pot or vase? They slapped his face on every vase, on every vase. Is there anything in here? Yes. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Hmm. All right, well, we got to go down the stairs then. I have a feeling this is like very what are you linear. Doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara. Hmm. At least everything glows so we know what to grab, you know. Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. This is weird. I'm getting frame rate drops on this PC edition. Even though I wasn't earlier, that's what's weird. This is a less intense hey, one. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened, and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long, I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened, Maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for. I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. She sounds like possessed in that, doesn't she? Or am I, is that just me? Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. What is this? Is this a camera? What is this? Oh, it's a flashlight. Oh, okay. Well, now we got the flashlight. So now we can go back to that room if we wanted. But I don't want to go back there. Not yet. We got to try and find some cheese. Should be able to explore the dark now. I mean, you could have actually explored the dark before Looking all this. Compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places. About finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. 
but don't grow up too fast. That's what they all say. Hey guys, okay, come on, let me access this. There you go. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Richard and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept, even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. Now, I'm pretty sure this little DLC is packed with things like this. So that's what the point is. It's not really as action based, it's more puzzle based. Can we go in here? No. We need the master key? Yeah, so once we get that master key, we should be able to thoroughly search the, the grounds. Let's just make sure we don't miss anything. Nothing over here either. Nope. Okay. Good. Oh, what's this? Missed this one. Lara. Since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle. I don't think you're trying to help. I think you're in it for yourself there, bruv. That's what it seems like to me. All right, we'll be coming back here anyway, so... I'm not going to spend too much time, like, going back and forth, just, like, triple checking. Because, like I said, there are lots of things we got to see. Hmm, not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. That would be kind of cool, though. Has that, anybody ever done that? Like, that an ancestry thing? Like, we go on the website and they, they like, go back to where your family came from and etc, etc. I think that's so cool. I haven't had a chance to do that. I know roughly where my family is from. Like, both sides. You know, both, what, mom's side is from Germany. Dad's side is from uh, Ireland. Particularly Northern Ireland in the Belfast region. All right. Ah, yeah, see, that one could have been missed. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a de Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. Yeah, see, that was, uh, because... She, that's, uh, mom's side. That, and he had a, he has a beef with the Croft family. So I, I get why he's like, oh, blah, 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 you know. And Lara's just like, you're a douche, you know? Whoa. 
Lara, this is your house. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. No, dude. Okay, yeah, I think you keep going. Let's grab this real quick. Is that a... Yeah. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. Well, that's a lovely I'm spot. Not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. That's locked. Still need that master key. Cheese. It's probably in the basement because there's nothing else up top. So. All of this just to get the password for Papa. Anything back there? No. More notes. There's a lot of these. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. All right, let's keep going. Oh, it's a wine cellar. Oh, there's a lot of goodies in here, guys. Look, I can see tons of things Still already. Just as creepy as I remember. Has she not lived to you? By the window, did you see that? Okay. I get it. Space, V, C. Oh, there we go. For God's sake, man. Why would they make it that button, you know? And then just take it away. That's some cheese. That's what that is. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now, and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier, which you sealed off, to play on her mother's piano. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer of all places. Before I knew what was happening, I found myself locked inside. Mrs. Sheffield discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds. I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. All right. Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. I'm not touching that again. King to queen one. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. I would play chess with our old butler, Winston, on this board. Never could beat him. Oh, wait, there was something there. 
I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop 6. Check. I need a crowbar. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King 7. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that. You should also know by now I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, he got, she got wrecked. I'm at a crossroads now. Good Lord, that's such a cliche. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the de Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? Okay. I'm surprised there's nothing back there, if I'm honest. God, these things are everywhere. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt, memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's been acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. He's been so buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as much as she does. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Before I continue... Yeah, see, they want me to go around there. I saw that. So we got to move this one back. And then the other one will take its spot. Let me just make sure. Oh, what's this? That's pretty. Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. That is very lovely. It's a decanter. Dad, this is it. The basement of despair. Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the library of infinite knowledge. Look there. See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. All right, I'm wondering if I should go up this way. I'm thinking so, and then we can go back down. All right, nothing here, just checking. Uh, do we have like a little mini puzzle right now? Of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. That's adorable. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. Am I? Is it gonna fall on my head? All right, that's where it's gonna want me to go. So, oh, what's this? Eight. I think this actually comes around. <laughs> My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. 
Ah, that's funny. Okay, come on, let me... Oh my god, frame rate. My PC is like, not even like, older in it. It's like, my PC's a beast. I don't understand why games still kind of struggle. I mean, it meets, it, meets, it meets all the requirements. It could be the recording. You know what? Water damage from the main hall above. I've said this before. I think it's my monitor. My monitor's old. And it's not really a gaming monitor. So I think that's... I should probably get one. All right. We're out of the basement. For now. Oh, we gotta get that crowbar. Don't forget though, we gotta we're gonna have to come back downstairs once we find the crowbar. Oh, for God's sake. Hopefully I'll find it soon. Okay, go. Seriously, dude, go. There you go. Is there anything behind us? No. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's little handprints. Here's more of the map. Plans for Blueprints. adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Number two. We're gonna have to find it, I think. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here, and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. He really did love her, didn't he? Just enough to squeeze by. Okay. This ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor. But she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It should prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. There's so many of these things to look at. I keep saying I that. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But... But this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. Ah, stop it! Oh my god, like, look at that shitty frame rate. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think you guys are gonna see it. Because the game itself hangs like a boss, but... And same with the PC, I think it's just the monitor. Can't help For keep God's up. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. Okay. So, d various dates. Oh. 
Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seemed to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm. Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? That would be pretty insane if it was. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. No, and that's one of them. You see, you see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl takes me. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Those were good times. The best times. Didn't we just pick something up from that same location? One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. Ha. <laughs> All right. I thought we grabbed this. Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it though. The Croft family crest and initials PC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. That's beautiful, man. It's probably worth a mint too. Oh yes, the lighter. Okay, should be able to light the fireplace now. Yeah, but is that a mandatory thing? Oh, wait, there's something back there. Is this the blueprint? This is no, no. my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Is, wait a minute. This could be part of the combination. His favorite painting, right? Spent so many hours in here reading, dreaming of my own adventures. All right, let's light this pan bastard. Is it gonna do anything? It's not like a save. Oh, that's a save. That's what that is. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. Can we translate this? <laughs> it appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or oh, didn't I put it back properly? Where is his helmet? Maybe it's like. That's still locked. I'll turn this off. Yep, there. Figured if I give it to chip, 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 chip. Anything else before I go? I'm just being thorough. And we're going to have to go through this all again just once we get the items that we need. Because you got to get that Achievo. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. No, oh, yeah, boss. All right, space. There we go. I forgot they changed it. Oh, it's not. They didn't change anything. Oh, I gotta pull it back. Is 
Is that gonna stay? Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Fallen! Oh, God, Lara, are you okay? I'm sorry. I mean, any normal human being would simply just, uh, you know, move it. Or, like, you know, just, like, push the, like, slide around it. I mean, that's what I would have done. I wouldn't have moved all that crap. Oh, I thought that was something else. Hmm. Blank, except for the image of a key. Interesting. This is the expedition map. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key. But we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. All right, I gotta go back. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. Damn. Whoa! So we gotta use it here. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. Got it. That is pretty neat, burrito. Marks the spot, as they say. All right, we gotta move this, right? Ha! <laughs> that is so awesome, man. Now, okay, let me open it. Come on. Thank you. Relic Hunter. I got half of them. The master key. This should get me into the West Wing. Should get us anywhere. Just remember. I'm gonna go back up now. Alright. This should open most rooms in the manor. Including the Forbidden West Wing. Well, like I said, I'm gonna be thorough. And I'm gonna look at everything I possibly can. Because I'm up on the second level now. So let's use this master key. Gotta get all the relics. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. But which one? We can actually check. Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully, I can find some answers. Ah, oh, I thing. see where we are. Hold on, we're going back down. Because I think there was a key, right? This door here. Meet the cross. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. He's very understanding chap, Winston, wasn't he? Can we open this? This will probably bring me back to the main hall. Right? Oh, look where we are. Wait a minute, where are we? Yeah, this is this place. Okay. Okay, now now we're back on track. Nothing else? Let's just do one last look. All right, there's the stairs.
Wait, what's that? It's not glowing, I don't think. It looks like it is, but... Ah, I got it. Oh, and then we can open this now. We can fire this up. Essentially to get a save. And there was no doors over here. So we should be able to... Uh... There was one of these things that needed a... Uh... Yeah, this right here, right? This was... The Croft family crest. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, like, I mean, that's the thing. They have all these, like, really cool... Wait, what's this? Oh, just a bunch of crap. So the West Wing is over here, and that's where it wants me to go next. But before we go... I'm just going to check over here, see if there's any... Because there's a... Oh, that's all sealed off. Space heater. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together now. Alright, we're heading to the West Wing, guys. All right, let's go in. All right, let's go, baby. Open that bad boy up. Let's see what's in. No. Oh. I'd say this is where most of the cheese happened. As you could very well tell. Worse than I thought. The whole area is all cockadoodle, dude. Let's see what's under the cupboard. Oh, we got a little recording. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man, but I am utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Oh, okay, so we might find some serious stuff about her mom in here. Now this is the master suite. I don't know if this is where we need to be. This is the master bedroom. All right, hold up. All right, you know, we can search the room and then keep going. No one's telling me to do to No one's telling me what to do right now, so we will find them, guys. We might find the crowbar nearby as well. Might be in that uh, wardrobe there. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of De Mornay obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future. 
whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. Crazy. Look at all these, like, items. I'm going to open this. I'm my curiosity. I feel like there's going to be a crowbar or another tape. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences, passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. So Lara was named after the sun god Ra, or partially. They just added the L.A. in front of it. That's cool. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. Ah, choppy. Stop chop. Okay, pause. Let the game catch up. It's so weird. I don't know why it does that. Mom's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. Oh, look at this thing. It's beautiful. What's underneath? Gotta be inscribed. The inscription is faded. I can't... Something yours. I can't really read it. How about these covenants? Or covenants, I said? Covers and cabinets, I combined. It's funny how the brain works. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. Okay. At least that old thing still works. Let's start all the way over here. Let's go over here. I remember this. Dad gave it to mom on her birthday. Ah, that's October important. thirteenth, mom's birthday. That's part of the combination, so it should be thirteen, maybe. So my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. Oh, but it wasn't on the birthday. Hmm. Mom on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. What about on the back? Of course, it's There's a date. That looks like a twenty-eighth. Something, damn, the number is faded. That looks like the 28th to me, but I could be wrong. It's very faded. The anniversary was in October, but which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. We'll get it there, bruv. Don't worry. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. All right. Couple more things. Let's take a look at this bust. This is Dad. Ha. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. That'd be kind of dope, man. I mean, it'd be kind of. I wouldn't want to make it for myself. I'd do it for the family, but I think it'd be kind of cool. Everything Atlas has done. How could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. 
I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. What's the, maybe this will have some important news. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. It's not working. Hmm. Looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. Or that's part of the combination. Maybe that's October twelfth that they were married. Cause their birthday was like what was the what was the birthday? Eighteenth or something? Maybe that's the hint. Let's take a look if there's anything else. There is a, uh, a oh no, it's blocked off. Just kind of keeping an eye. I just want to be thorough. We came from there, so let's keep going down this way. Oh, okay, Laura, keep it together. You're starting to see things. I, I mean, I didn't really see anything per se, but. My Lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Stop. Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Well, it's good to hear that Lara can take care Mom's of herself, but we knew her. that. Dad sealed it soon after she died. He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. There's lots of stuff in here. Who's that? Is that a painting of her dad? I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate. And my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. Well, that's great to hear. I'm glad it, you know. It's too bad she was taken so soon. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mom died too young. No clue yet. I feel like this I might have something. A baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Well, everybody is there, girl. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? My guess is. I might be able to find something here. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say, I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. 
To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings, Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. Blocks of red. Okay. Hmm. Blocks of red. That one that's there. Favorite painting. That, that's pretty Maybe obvious. Something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Fuck you, frame rate. For the love of God, why? It was working okay. perfectly I earlier. Then see, now safe. it's back to normal. Although I don't know if you guys can actually You've tell. Almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this. See? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. Where's the crowbar at? Like, shouldn't the crowbar be nearby? Like, I know this is it. But why isn't it letting me grab it? Um, hold on. Return to the study. I have 37 relics. 28 of 40 docks, but I don't have any, uh... I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. There's gotta be something here. Like that, uh... Can I go outside? No, it's blocked up. I'm gonna go back in their room. Cause I'd like to, maybe, you know what? The crowbar could very well be somewhere completely different, you know? But I just wanna make sure I didn't miss it, you know? Ah, here we go, I found another relic. This bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. Huh. It was just around the corner, this. Where's the damn crowbar, though? I've... Oh, what do we have here? I didn't see this ladder. There's something here. This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. So there could be more. All right. So I'm just gonna head. Now that I found a couple things, I'm gonna head straight to the safe. See if I can open it. And maybe some. Maybe those other ones. Maybe the crowbar will present itself. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here, and it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. I would say he did. Hold on, I just want to make sure. All right, let's give it a whirl. Okay, found all the clues. Did I, though? Let's see if I can figure this out. Well, let me look at the clues. That didn't work. Well, no, no kidding, it didn't work, lady. Like, obviously, it didn't work. Um, let's see the clues. We found all the clues, right? It's best. Another I'm four days. I've oh, wait a minute. You can kind of. This is look. You gotta. Where's that book of glyphs? Because this, we gotta look at the bird. Let's see the bird. I remember this now. Dad gave it to mom on her birthday. October thirteenth. So that number then, so that whatever that like two birds means. I believe it took. Oh, so they got married. So 13th. So therefore, her birthday should be October 9th then. So. All right, so let, let me go back. So her birthday's the 9th. Let me see. Uh, safe clues, right? For 9th, okay. 
So nine is the last number. My favorite painting by Amelia. So, oh, here it is. Five. Okay, five. Okay. So the code should be five, two. I'm going to try five, two, nine. Let's give that a gant. Wait, actually, hold on. Favorite painting. I know. I know. It's this one, right? This one here. Four, maybe? Let's try five, four, nine. Let's give that a go. See if that works. It has to be in the clues. That works. Yeah! And the reason it was four, guys, was because there were four red paints, blocks of, there were four red squares. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but... I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now. And then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. I guess we'll Dad, see. What did you do? There's more. Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. There's a lot um, of stuff in here. This isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Hmm, a blank page. It ain't blank, is it? Let's hold it up to a fireplace. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. Let's get to the next, the closest fireplace, which is down in the lobby, I think. Well, that's one of them. Let's go decipher the cheese. But yes, hold on. Okay, let's try it. Come on. A hidden message. Ow, look at this. That is in the... Wait, where is this? What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. They look like those hieroglyphs, don't they? But what is this? This looks... Whoa, look at that. It looks crazy 3D. This looks like... Okay, no, stop spinning it that way. It's hard to get the angle right. There it is. This looks like the wine cellar. So there's something there. So let's go back downstairs. Like I said, man, those signs look like hi those hi hieroglyphs. Although I probably could have, you know what, I probably didn't have to go to that fireplace. I do have the lighter, so I could have just activated that, you know. Okay, Lara, what do we got? Aha, what, what is, other side maybe? Is that it? Oh! Okay, that's what we do. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look at our invitation. I, I think I have an idea about this. I do. Let's look at the... Uh, let's look at the hieroglyph of the revealed hidden message right here. A hidden message. See, there's symbols. That's a number one, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this. With my phone, just so I have something for reference. Just a moment. Yeah, see, I recognize this bird. That's the one I was confusing. So if we go back, hold on, I'll get my mess, my one picture open. Okay, now, uh, safe combination clues. I remember no, I'm this. sorry. This. I remember Come this on. now. Each district in ancient one. Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Okay, shut up. Okay. 
So from judging from the picture, the combination should be a one, four, and then a bird standing by itself. This one, two, one, four, two. Let's give that a gander, skis. Let's try that. Yes! Bruh, I knew there was something over here. Damn, locked in. Mm, did this open the secret door from the inside? Hope I'm not trapped in here. I don't think Dad would do that to you, Lara, but... Did Dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? Whoa! This place is bumping. I wonder if the crowbar is in here. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. So then it must not be in the vault then. The missing ah. page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. Yeah, I remember we read in the renovation about that. You know, that one, that one bit. My love. It is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only... Immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. That I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. There is so much to say, but I'm tired. The sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon. And likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared. Richard, what lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on. In her. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. Wait, we saw this somewhere. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? There must be. Bruh! Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Hmm. So I'm just being very thorough. There's things everywhere. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs, then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed, there is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, 
I imagined that my life was being drawn from me, as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes, clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. So she's buried here. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. What is this? Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. And then there's this over here. Might be there it is. To access other parts of the manor. I wonder if I should go back now before going through the... Actually, I might need it to get through the wall. I need it to get through the wall. But right now, I'm actually stuck. Alright, there's a book here. Another book. Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Very valuable. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have choked a life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. What a shithead. I don't like him. Is there anything? Before we go through the wall, I just want to make sure... We've collected everything in this room. Let's see if I can head back. Like I don't want I don't want to unlock the secret until I get all the secrets. I saw that. Okay, what are you doing? All right, never mind. All right, we're gonna have to go through the wall, but we might be able to break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Again, just making sure I didn't miss anything. There is a lot, and with this this uh, black light on, it's kind of tough to. There you go. It's kind of hard to see things. All right, one last little lap of this island. Microwave. <laughs> All right, let's bust through. All right, so there's still a sun-shaped plaque going down. Oh, look where we are. We'll polish my ass and call me. I, sh I don't know. Just don't call me names. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. All right, where were those other two? Where were... Were they back here? All right, let's see what's in these two things. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, 
I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves. All right, what's in this one? Nothing. Oh, what a troll, man. Thought maybe there'd be like a hidden section. All right, let's keep heading back. I don't... I don't know what I could have missed. Oh, what's this? This is where it'll go. But I feel like I missed something, you know, like... I don't, unless, unless there's a bunch of stuff in there. Hold on, let me hit back. Let me look at my, okay, we have, we're missing six relics and we're missing five documents. All right, well, maybe, maybe the rest of them are down here. Knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west. Our future is to the south, our past is to the north. I get it. Knowledge is to the east. That's the library. Respite to the west. That's where his, um, that's where his mom is, or her mom is rather. That's where you know the old rooms and all that. And the, the future is to the south. So leaving the house, and uh, the past is to the north. So can we leave the house? Not yet. Like I understand it, but hold the phone. Well, look at this. This looks bustable? The past is to the north. Look at this! It's a crypt, dude. So mom must be down here. Just keeping an eye out for any sort of relics and things. We might find a lot of stuff down here. Oh my. That's a little scary. I mean, it's fascinating, but... Incredible. This crypt was here all along. I expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy. One that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do. Sounds like he was really trying to get her back with the elixir of life. There she is, that's her crypt. I don't know where to begin. It's a rose. My great grandmother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. Is there anything else? I don't feel like there's enough things in here to get I must have missed some somewhere. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. Hold on, dog. I'm not done yet. 
Before we go say hi to mom. I don't know. My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. Hmm, what's this? A letter. Ah! I can't even get them all. I did complete the main game, just not... Just not uh, in on PC. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. Well... I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. Well, I think that's that. There are four and one document remaining. Unfortunately, I can't get them until I beat the, uh, the main game. But, um... Yeah, that's funny. Uh... <laughs> Because I actually, like I said, I beat the main game already. I will, I have to access it. I'd have, to, so it would have been better if I played this on Xbox One. But it is what it is. We got a, a prettier looking experience here on the PC. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Blood Ties is done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit different. More, cin not so much, cinema, more like just storytelling through collectibles and things than anything else. But if you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description. I'll play at the end credits video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much. Again, take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. style. Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill.
Yeah. It was never, ever a game.